Hello, this is Louise. Today I'm going to show you how to automatically install my proofreading stamps for PDF Exchange. I've already got the black collection and the blue collection installed. I haven't got the red collection because I accidentally deleted it when I was doing a draft of this video tutorial. But I suppose that's a good opportunity for me to show you what to do. So the first thing you need to do is to download PDF Exchange. So let's go to the Tracker software site at www.tracker-software.com and if you go to this little image here, get free, D free PDF Exchange Viewer, you click on that and download it. And then once you've got that on your PC, and it will be a PC unless you're running conversion software like Parallels, uh, you won't be able to use PDF Exchange on a Mac. So you open up PDF Exchange and you go to the Tools menu and then Comment and Markup Tools and Show Stamps Palette. And we're going to create a new collection. So I'm going to call this new collection Red. And the first thing you need to do if you don't already have any stamps on your computer is that you need to show PDF Exchange where it needs to put the stamps. So in this case you would select from PDF and you would select any PDF on your computer, it doesn't matter which one at all. Select OK. And then the next thing you need to do is you need to go and delete that. All you're doing is showing PDF Exchange the path. You don't actually need that stamp that you just created. So you go to your C drive, select Users, Your Name, App Data, Roaming, Tracker Software, PDF Exchange Viewer 2.0, stamps and then in there you can see that's the rogue file that I just downloaded so we'll select that and we'll delete it gone let's close that down now we need to open up the web browser and go to my website this is where we're going to go and get the stamps so Go to louiseharmbyproofreader.com to the blog and if you scroll down you'll see this grey button here. Click here to download your free proofreading stamps. Click on that and this top entry here is where we go to get the actual sets of stamps and if we scroll down PDF Exchange users need these three sets here on the second row. So we've got black, blue and red. So the set I'm missing is red so I'm going to download that file. Now when you open up this PDF you'll see only one stamp and that's because this PDF is actually 70 odd pages and each stamp has its own page. So don't be alarmed if you only see a delete symbol, that's perfectly normal. So you're going to save that to your computer and we're going to go back to that same path that we went to before. C Users Your Name App Data Roaming Tracker Software PDF Exchange 2.0 Stamps and then we're going to save this file here. Just give it a few minutes to do its thing. And now we'll close it. Now open up PDF Exchange again. Tools. Comment and markup tools. Show stamps palette. And there are all your stamps. Now they're quite big when you first look at them. So if you can see these little magnifying glasses here you've got a plus sign and a minus sign. If you keep clicking on the minus sign it will reduce them and that's really handy when you're proofreading 
on screen because you can move this palette around and resize it however you like. And if I'm just using one colour on a PDF, then I usually shut this little sidebar here so that I can maximise the number of stamps I can see at once. If I'm swapping between, say, blue and black, then I keep this open. Red, blue, black. Now, what I also like to do is to order these in a way that means I access easily the stamps that I most often use. And the easiest way to do that in PDF Exchange is to order them numerically because it means you can absolutely control what stamp appears where. Now I've already done this for the blue, uh, the blue collection. No, the black collection. So you can see that I've numbered them 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and these are all the stamps that I tend to use and then if I scroll down to the bottom these are some of my less used ones. And the great thing about using a numbering system is that if you were working on a PDF and you found yourself using again and again a, sim a symbol that you're, you're not used to using, all you have to do is select it, click on rename and give it a, a number that fits in near the top. So if I call this 0 0.0001 It's changed it there. If I go to a different collection and then I go back to my my black collection, up here now is my new stamp or my move stamp should I say. So that's it. Now if you were downloading all the colours, the only bits of that process that you would have to repeat is from the point where on my blog you selected a different colour. You don't have to go through the rigmarole of selecting any old PDF off your website. You only have to do that once. So let's say I didn't have the black set already. I could now just click on the black set, save it in C, users, roaming, blah de blah de blah And then when I open PDF Exchange again, it will be there. Now if you forget to close down PDF Exchange uh, while you're saving your stamps file in your C path, um, the stamps may not show up. If, th if that happens then just close down PDF Exchange in its entirety and open it up again and you should see everything where it's meant to be. Dead simple. Enjoy!